Hi guys, if you watched my previous video on object tracking using OpenCV and Arduino, you know that I recently started learning the OpenCV library and now I wanted to do another project that's slightly more complex than the previous one and I chose M&M sorting based by color. The reason I chose this project is that there are like a million videos on YouTube of people doing the same thing and everyone seems to have a different approach to doing this. So I wanted to show you my take on it. I'll run the project's parts one by one so that you can get an understanding of how everything is put together and how it works and uh, at the end you may also see how the whole project ended up working. I'll show it running. Uh, the base of the whole thing is a disassembled Epson C43 UX printer. I have uh, two videos showing the disassembly process if, if anyone wants to replicate this uh, and basically I removed most of the parts on, of the printer uh, I left only the necessary things that I needed here. Uh, basically now I'll, I'll run you to each sub part of the whole of the whole project so that you can see how the loading, unloading process goes, uh, how the detection goes and uh, all those things. So let's start with the loading process. Here you can see the actual system I have in place for loading the candy and let me just put a couple of M&Ms over there so you can see how it functions. Okay, so here they are. They are. Uh, as you can see, this is not really a good-looking, good-looking system, uh, and it's not fail-safe either. But it's the first prototype, and it seemed to work quite okay. Uh, basically, I have one servo motor over there, which uh, opens and let and releases one M M&M after the other. Uh, there are some cases where an M M&M might get stuck over there, or two of them fall at the same time. And this uh, happens sometimes, but not that often, so I decided to leave it as it is. Uh, as I said, it's just the first prototype and it, it does the job well so far. So let me just run this for you so you can see how it goes. You see it just opens up, uh, releases one m and and then closes. I'll do another one just to show you. And here's the last one. Now they're all in. Of course, this doesn't happen when you r run the program in real time. Only one one M and M goes at a time. But anyway, I just wanted to illustrate this. Uh, when we're at this point, this is where the print head that I left, controlled by this stepper motor in the back, you can see it over there. Uh, this is where the print head moves, and uh, along with the M and M, and gets to this point, basically to the camera that does the the color detection, and this goes on like this. What I'm doing now is basically sending the commands that later the C++ code will send to the Arduino automatically. Uh, I'm just sending them, sending it manually now so you can see how it goes. When the M&M gets to this point, uh, this is where the OpenCV takes over and basically does the detection. Uh, the details on how this is done will be uh, placed on my blog later on if you want to, to view them. Also the code uh, will be there as well and you can replicate this if you wish. Okay, once the detection is done, uh, then first there's a command for the candy to get back out of the reach of the camera, basically over there, uh, and this is the first unloading, uh, uh, unloading position. Uh, now uh, when the color is detected, depending on which color it is, it can have a different unloading position. As you can see here, uh, there are several colors, each in their own compartments, and uh, depending on the color, the print head can be at one of several locations, over here or in one of several other locations. Uh, basically there are six of them uh, because there are six colors of M&Ms that I have so I have an unloading position for each, for each color separately. Uh, at the end, when the M&Ms are at the specific location when, where they need to be unloaded Actually, I shouldn't say M&Ms, when the M&M one, one of them is in the specific positions, this is where the unloading happens. And uh, this servo motor over here is responsible for the unloading. As you can see, it's connected to this container via Velcro. And uh, at this point, I can issue the unload command. 
and you see it just rotates this whole thing and the m and drops underneath. Right now they all dropped in some random container over here but when the program is actually running uh, it is unloading the m and at the specific position where it needs to go. Uh, after this is done, this is where the print head actually homes itself and gets to the home position where it all where it all started. Okay, so uh, the controller to, to all of this is an Arduino board that you see in the back. Actually, here you see a prototyping shield on top of the of, on top of the Arduino, and uh, in the middle of the prototyping shield, I'm not sure if you can see clearly, uh, is one one chip which is basically an H bridge which helps control the servo so I can move it back and forth uh, and uh, move the M and M along with it. You can see that. Uh, the two servo motors, the loading and unloading servo, as well as the stepper motor is connected here, over, over there. Uh, the schematic for connecting all of this will also be in my blog if you want to, if you want to replicate it. Uh, the Arduino has some, it has a USB cable over here that's connected to my PC, and this is actually sending it the serial commands, but also it has one additional power connection over here. Uh, this is because the stepper motor actually requires 9 volts of power uh, and uh, only 5 volts are delivered uh, from the USB connection. So I have an external power supply uh, which is at this time uh, it's an AC to DC converter which gives off the 9 volts. Uh, however, I've discovered that the current that the stepper motor needs is a bit high so this thing gets a bit warm as it is now. So I figured I'll make a small change and put back the power supply from the from the printer which is this thing over here I hooked up the power supply actually the output from the power supply to a um, voltage regulator you can see it over there uh, 7809 voltage regulator to give me 9 uh, volts output to get to the stepper motor however uh, the power supply of the printer actually outputs 36.1 volts uh, and this is somewhat of an upper limit to the 7809 voltage regulator which means it gets pretty hot uh, which means that this is also not a good solution for for permanent running of this project of course I can show an example or two but after a while this gets quite hot and uh, I didn't want to risk it so that's why I moved back to the AC to DC converter uh, I was told that uh, a good voltage regulator to try out uh, is an um, LM317 and I actually have one of those over here uh, however it's still not hooked up so I'll probably introduce that later on in the project uh, this is the original driver board for the steppers that the printer had and of course uh, it has all the parts to regulate the voltage on, on itself however I decided not to use it just because I wanted to create everything from scratch uh, and have the, the project be unique uh, of course the whole thing is is not really uh, anything anything good to look at as it's mostly cardboard and zip ties however it seems to to do the job well and uh, I actually I actually didn't want to try and improve it uh, anymore because it was it was working fine uh, you can find uh, more details about this project on my blog later on uh, and also you can download the code both the OpenCV that is C++ code and the Arduino code as well uh, and uh, I'll also post over there any interesting things I found out while, while doing these uh, tricks and tips I might give you if you want to replicate, replicate this thing uh, so that's about it, be sure to watch my other video on how this thing actually looks while working uh, and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later, bye